just so that you can get your head around what's going on with Venn diagrams, okay? Because people get all like confused. So let me put it to you this way, okay? If somebody is in group A, then they are in the whole circle of A, all of it. Okay? If they are in probability of B, then they are in all of circle B. So I've got circle A and I've got circle B. Are there anybody who can be in both A and B at the same time according to the picture in front of you? No, there's no crossover. So we call this mutually exclusive. Okay? So mutually exclusives would be heads and tails. Okay? Those are two possible events. Yes? You can either have heads or you can have tails. You can't have both at the same time. It doesn't work like that. Okay? So two things that are totally mutually exclusive. For instance, the probability that a middle school kid plays rugby would be group A, and a high school kid plays rugby group B. Now, you can't be both a middle school kid and a high school kid at the same time. It's actually not allowed. Even if you're middle school age and at high school, you're a high school kid. So those are mutually exclusive, and that's what the picture looks like. Okay, once we get past that, that's when we start looking at things going like this. Okay, so here's group A. They're people who play rugby. Here's group B, people who play netball. Okay, so if group A is rugby players, and group B is netball players, please write down for yourself or talk to each other about what you would define as that group in there. How would you describe them? Okay, talk to someone. How would you describe them? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe them like this. Okay, that's how I describe them. I'm not going to describe them as both. I agree it is both, it's true, but I'm going to describe them as people who play rugby and play netball. Okay, and we define that group as A intersection B because that's the group that's actually where the two circles intersect. That's why it's called intersection B. Okay, and I tend to like that thing because that looks a bit like an N for me, so it's and. Okay, so those are the people who play rugby and netball. Okay, right. Now, carrying on then, bearing in mind that A and B are still netball and rugby, they're going to be for a while now. Okay, please describe the circle I've just coloured in. How would you define that circle? Please remember that A is rugby and B is netball. How would you define that circle? What would you say that was? Okay, that's all the people who play rugby. Does that make sense? And we would define that as group A. We already have done. Okay, next one. If I'm going a bit fast, then please watch the video and just slow it down. Or we'll just go back over it. Okay, so now remember that A is rugby and B is netball. Please describe how you would define that bit there. This is A, this is B. So the shaded area there. How would you describe those people? Yes, so these are people who play netball and not rugby. Now I heard somebody say people who play only netball. That would be okay too. That would be reasonable. Yes, so these people here play netball but they don't play rugby. So we're doing fairly well because if you look at where we're going with our circles, I'm assuming everybody understands the concept that if I didn't colour in this circle, but I coloured in this circle instead, then that would be all the people who play netball. Equally, if I flip this one around, 
and just coloured in the other side, then that would be people who played rugby but not netball. Yes? And this one is people who play rugby and netball. Equally, you could have said people who play netball and rugby. Let's swap around. I hope you understand that idea. Okay? So, so now we're actually getting somewhere. We're actually making some understanding of what's going on. Don't be frightened to put things in words. Probability is one of those subjects that actually does talk about words. Okay? So, how do we find these? This shaded area then. A, and there's B. How would you decide what that was? And that is the people who play rugby or netball or both. Yeah, so these played rugby or netball or both rugby and netball. Now, the next one is a bit of a challenge. I'm actually not going to draw you the picture. I'm going to write the description. Yeah, you're going to draw the picture. Now, you can draw it in your mind if you want to. Okay, so here it goes. I want the people who play rugby or netball but not both. What's that picture going to look like? People who play rugby or netball but not both. Okay, here it comes. If you need more time, pause the video. There we go. Okay? Now, these have all got symbols which could be used for various things, but actually most probability questions won't put it in symbols. They will just put it as a question, like how many people play rugby or netball, but not both. But you need to understand just one extra thing, is that you were very happy with me saying, when it's and, we put that symbol. Now, there is another symbol. That's this symbol here. A union B, which one of the pictures does that one apply to? And the answer is, when I can find it, I've lost it. Uh, no, it's not play rugby and netball. Play rugby and netball was that one. See the difference? That's rugby and netball. That's not the same. Or both. So that means that's that picture there. So this one is A union B. Okay, and that's, that applies only to this picture. So you're either looking at this picture, or you're looking at this picture, or you're looking at this picture. Normally, that's what we talk about. So this is people who play A. I don't care whether they play rugby or not, or netball or not. I don't care. It's how many people play rugby? All of those. I didn't ask if they played another sport. Yes? If I said to you how many people played netball, it would be the other circle. All of the other circle. Okay? So, if I said to you, play rugby and both, it's just that bit. Okay? And if I said to you, rugby or netball or both, that's that one. Okay? So when we show you formula, which look like this. That says, I want all the people who play rugby. I don't care if they play another sport as well. I just want all the people who play rugby. And now I want all the people who play netball. Now, if there's one person who plays rugby and netball, that one person has now been counted twice. So then what we do is we take away the intersection. And that equals... A or B or both. So I'm just going to go through that a little bit with you. Okay? This definition here, all the people who play rugby or netball or both, that's all of the circle, is defined as all the people who play rugby, so there they are, look, including the people in the middle, plus all the people, I'll do another picture just so I've got it,
So there's all the people who play netball now, yes? So if you look at the two pictures together, can you see I've counted the middle section now twice? So in order to get from that picture to that picture, I need to take away one of those. Yes, I've got all of that circle, all of that circle. The middle section's appeared twice, once there and once there. So if I take one of them away, I end up with that. And that's where my little formula came from that I gave you that for. And that's all you need to worry about, really, for Venn diagrams. Everything else is about description. So, for instance, if I said to you, here is my classical Venn diagram. So, here we go. And I'm going to tell you that that is 12 out of 20. That is 2 out of 20. And that is 6 out of 20. No, let's not do that. Yeah, let's do 6. Uh, no, let's do 4 out of 20. Okay. First of all, here's my question. How many people were in my group? 20. Okay. So my question is, how many people play rugby but not netball? 12. Because that's that bit. Rugby but not netball. Yes. How many people play both rugby and netball? 2 out of 20. Yes. Does that make any sense? Yeah. How many people play rugby or netball, but not both? 12 plus 4 is 16. You see how much actually easier it is when we describe it? Which is what questions really do. Okay. How many people play rugby? 14. Yeah. How many people play netball? Six. How many people play rugby or netball or both? 18. 12, 14, 18. Yes? How many people don't play rugby or netball then? Two. Two. Yes, good. Well done. Yes? All right, so if you look at the maths of it, how many people play rugby or netball or both? All the people who play rugby, 14. Plus all the people who play netball, six. Take away the double up in the middle. 20, take away 2 is 18. So it does work. Now, I wouldn't do that to work out rugby or netball or both. I can look at it and I can add it up. But when we're coming to do statistics with it, you have to be able to suss that out. Now, everything I've just described to you, I'm hoping you understood that it's much easier when I'm explaining it by saying, how many people do this, how many people do that. You just have to understand what these various symbols mean. If you're stuck, please watch the video. Thank you.